Well, hello from Healthy Living with Oily Blessings. I'm here today. It's Wellness Wednesday, and I'm here to share some healthy living tips for you on Wellness Wednesday. Now, we've been following, if you've been following me at all, I've been talking about Mystery Monday and Travel Tip Tuesdays where you can travel with confidence. Today is Wellness Wednesday. We're going to talk about the ABCs of eating healthy, of living healthy, and how you can, are you tired of being sick and tired? <laughs> you know, I was. And so you change your habits. And so today you have 26 tips. I know it sounds like a lot, but actually it's just the ABCs. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to get right in. If you are interested in this and you would like to get a copy of it, just um, send me a little blurb and say, hey, can I get a copy of that? Um, and if you go to healthy living with oily blessings dot wordpress dot com, you can download your own PDF of this file. OK, so here we go. All right. So the ABCs of winter wellness. A, this is old fashioned one, an apple a day. Eat an apple a day. So it does your body good. Why? Keeps the doctors away because it has all those great benefits for you. OK, B. Ready? Breathe in fresh air. Go outside. Take your mask off. Take it off. You need fresh oxygen. You need that oxygen. Breathe that fresh oxygen. Not in the house. The house, our houses are filled with toxins um, because of all the sprays and chemicals that we use. We'll talk about that on Thriving with Thieves Thursday. Um, C. This is an easy one. Vitamin C. Use your, take your vitamin C. If you don't have uh, vitamin C's, um, oranges. Oranges are a great way for vitamin C. So are pineapples. Broccoli too, believe it or not. Okay. So <clears throat> D is don't forget your vitamin D. Vitamin D comes from the sunshine. Well, we know sometimes in the winter, it's difficult to find sunshine, especially in Ohio. And so most people that come to Ohio are lacking vitamin D. So be sure to take your vitamin D. Um, e is eat healthy foods. F, fun. It's okay to have fun. You don't have to stop having fun just because you're an adult. Have fun with your family and friends. I love being a grandma for that reason because I can, I can have fun with my grandkids and get away with it. G, is take time to give. Take time for God in your life. You know, grandkids, that's another one. Boy, I tell you what, there's nothing that fills your heart more with joy than your own little grandchild. Um, and if you don't have any grandkids, so adopt a family that can, that can become your grandchildren. They probably could use it and you can too. Okay, so H is for hope. You know what? Many of you who know me know that my heart has been to share hope. Um, and I love sharing hope in however way I can. And so how do I share hope? I share hope through my business, Healthy Living with Oily Blessings. I share hope through blogs that I write, Hope for the Hurting. I share it on um, several blogs, actually. I have Hope for the Hurting and um, Hope for the Hurting 2017.wordpress.com. Um, and I write about health because you know what? Our bodies are uniquely designed so that we are all work together. Our body, our soul, and our mind all works intricately together. And, and if one is out of whack, then guess what? The other one's out of whack. And so we need to make sure that all of us are all the way around aligned. And that's why I share about hope for your body, your mind, and your soul. Hope for the Hurting talks about our soul. Lots and lots of things about our soul. Um, healthy living, this is what I'm doing here. Talking about healthy living, healthy, a healthier lifestyle. We can choose a healthier lifestyle. Or we can choose to be sick and tired all the time. It's up to you. It's your choice. Um, I love to be able to share that hope. And, um, you know, what is hope? What is hope? Hope is looking forward to something positive, a change, something that's going to happen. And what can we hope for? Oh my gosh, there's so many things. This year has been one of the most trying years of all times. 
just because of Corona and the election and the fires in California and um, states are devastated. There's just so many, many difficulties going on today. But I'm here to remind you that there is always, always hope. Okay, never forget that. All right. Um, I. I is for isolation. We've been isolated. During this time, we have been isolated. We can, we've had to be separated from everybody. And that is not, it's not, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to be separated. So we need to learn some ways that we can be interacting with other people. Um, I've started doing Facebook. Um, I just feel like it's a little way that I can get out there for people. Um, it's a little way that I can share hope. Um, and it's just so I am um, learning to interact via the computer. I don't necessarily first touch, first hand, sitting in a room, sitting outside visiting is probably the best way. But it's starting to be winter, so we have to look for some alternatives. Okay? So J is joy, sharing joy. And that's one of the things I really want to be able to find your joy. I want to share joy with you. Find your joy. What made you happy? Um, you know, as I've learned to put Jesus first in my life, it has made, my life has changed drastically because he has given me joy during the storms. Yep. He's given me peace. And, and so I can have joy. My circumstances may not have changed, but I can still have joy because Jesus is there and he fills my heart with his joy. Okay, so K is, oh, let me come back to J for a second, because one of the things that helps keep our mind and our body feeling not so sluggish, like a bowl full of jelly, is junk food. When we eat junk food, we're going to feel, ugh, it just is not good for our bodies. Our bodies are not made for that kind of stuff. Okay, um, K, kick up your feet and have some fun. Try kickboxing. Try something new. You know, take a swim class. Take a dance class. There, there are still some classes. They're doing it, you know, with social distancing, but they're doing it. Get out. Get some exercise. Enjoy that. E should have been exercise. I don't know why it's not listed as exercise on here, um, but it should be. Okay, L. L is for laughter. Do you know how important it is to be laughing? Do you know that laughter is good medicine for your soul? Laughter is medicine. They found, doctors have found that. If they've tried everything with their patients and they, nothing happens, they'll say, go home and put in a, a funny comedy, something that makes you laugh. And you know what? After a few times, they, it started lifting their spirits. Why? There's a chemical that is released when that happens. It's called endorphins. And those endorphins give you, number one, they give you energy. Number two, they lift your spirits. Again, remember what I said about this. It's body, mind, and soul. We're all interconnected. And so when we learn to laugh, I want to say that again. We learn to laugh. It's going to lift our endorphins and give us more energy. I don't know about you, but we have some really good friends where when, the, um, when we get together, we laugh. And many times, even though I'm usually an early um, 10, around 10 o'clock, I'm ready for getting some good sleep. I find that after we've been laughing like crazy, my endorphins get up and I'm no longer tired because it gives you that extra energy. So get up and learn to laugh, okay? M kind of goes along with laughter, but meditate on the positive. Meditate on positive things. What mem Memories. Memories are wonderful to meditate on. You know, when you're meditating on them or... Um, meander through a park. That helps to clear your mind. Okay, because we want an M is mind. Meditate. Keep those things, keep that mind pure and holy. Think on good things. Um, there's a scripture verse that says, whatsoever things are true, pure, whatsoever things are holy, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are righteous, think on those things. It's a little different than our N, negatives. We see, we hear Lots and lots and lots of negative. We are bombarded with negative things today. Get rid of those negative thoughts. Never give up. Now, 
How about health-wise? Okay, so here's a tip. You know, instead of pulling out those snack junk food snacks, our potato chips and Fritos, and get some almonds, okay? Get some dried almonds, walnuts, hazelnuts, Brazil nuts, sunflowers. Any of the nuts are very, very beneficial. They're high in protein. Yes, they have some fat, but it's a great snack, and sometimes we need that munchy stuff. And it really is good for our body. Um, there's magnesium in some of those as well. And a lot of vitamins in those, um, in those nuts. So that's a great thing to have. Okay, O is for omega-3. Do you know what an omega-3 is? Like most of you probably going, what are you talking about? Well, the omega-3s are the fish oil. Why is that important? I'll tell you. It's important because of brain health. Okay, as we've been younger, longer, our brain, if we keep activating it, our brain will work. If we just sit and watch TV, our brain starts to slow down. And so we have to be able to, if we make sure that we are using and, and eating um, omega-3s, it will help keep our mind active. One, some of the best things to help you keep your brain, I have a class um, about brain, um, brain health. Um, we'll probably do that later on in the winter. Um, but as we improve our brain health, how do we do that? Take some, take a new class. During coronavirus, I took several YouTube classes, which is why I do this. Um, and I have taken, um, I learned how to do digital marketing. Now, I'm not very great at it, but I love it. I love the challenge. It's made my mind so that I can think more clearly because I've been active with it. And so the more active you are, the better off your brain is. It's healthier for your brain. Okay? P. Oh, P is for photographs. Do you know one of the best ways to get rid of your sadness when you're missing family, like during this isolation time, is put together a scrapbook. Take your photos. Walk down memory lane. Any of those um, pictures help to create. They they actually work as well as chocolate. Chocolate and pic photos work as well because they lift your spirits because you're remembering good times. You're remembering those fun times. And this one is difficult, especially today. You know, I would suggest to live with peace. How do you live with peace with all of this madness going on? Well, that's what you have to kind of find. You have to find your peace. Now, for me, I really get my peace from the Lord. Every morning, I um, am with the Lord, and I take my frankincense, and I um, enjoy my devotional time, and He fills my heart with peace. Um, sometimes I might need a little additive, so, so I, you know, of course, I might add in a little Young Living oil, like maybe peace and calming, but... Peace is something that you have to find yourself. And that is very, very crucial because it helps your mind. Because if our mind is not at rest, what happens to our body? First of all, our bodies are tense. Okay, then we have heart issues. We have stomach issues because of digestion, because we're all anxious and nervous. The anxiousness and the nervousness in our stomach causes bad digestion. Bad digestion causes us to block up when we get constipated. Okay, and so we're not getting rid of all the toxins. So our body starts slugging down, slowing down, and we just feel worse and worse and worse. And so it's this downward spiral that we end up in. So peace, try to live in peace, practice peace. That's what my P is. Q is for quality time with family and friends. And I say quality time because when I'm talking about quality time, I'm saying turn off your phone. Turn off the computer. Turn off the game, the um, the Xbox and all that stuff. Get out an old-fashioned game where you're just interacting with each other. Okay, if you need to take a nap. I usually will take, I like to take a power nap, maybe 10 minutes. But after my power nap, my brain can think clearly. I'm more refreshed. I'm ready to roll. Okay. Um, S. Okay, now this one is very, very important because this one to me 
has made the difference of night and day in my life. Cut out the sugar. Sugar, get rid of the sugar in your life. Sugar and stress go hand in hand. What happens? Well, we get stressed, and so what do we do? Well, you know, dessert, um, stress spelled backwards is what? Dessert. So we turn to the desserts and we eat all these sugar things. Well, what happens when we eat the sugar stuff? Well, when we eat sugar, it lowers our immune system. Mm -hmm. It does. It lowers our immune system. We need to stay healthy and strong today, especially more than ever. And so if we eat sugar, we're not going to keep our body up. Yeah, we might feel good for a minute, but our bodies are, it is, it lowers our immune system. So when we're bombarded with something that is outside, like coronavirus, if we're bombarded with COVID and it's in the air, you know, um, and it, our immune system cannot fight it off if we eat sugar. Okay. So I'm going to keep, that's going to be, so sugar kills our immune system. Do you know what else sugar does? They're finding many, many, many links. You're not going to believe me. To sugar and cancer. Yeah. That's a dangerous combination. Okay. So T is Thanksgiving. Practice an attitude of gratitude. Thanksgiving changes our viewpoint on life. And so as we are changing, as we're working on a healthier lifestyle, we have to change our mindset. You keep hearing me coming back to the mind. And that's why I said, because body, mind, and soul are all interconnected. And so when we're changing our, our viewpoint of life, it lifts our spirits. And you know, once your spirits get lifted, then you can start thinking about other things. And other things start coming in there as well you know and it it will improve your mental abilities it will improve how you feel because you can always be thankful i can be thankful i'm breathing i can be thankful that we had a beautiful snowstorm last week it's all melted now <laughs> good old ohio my roses are trying to peek through you know, so there's a lot of things that we can even the little things never underestimate the little things um, you undo mindset. Unfortunately, um, here's a mindset that we need to undo. Well, you know, it's winter. Unfortunately, I'm always sick in the winter. No, no, no. Undo those negative thoughts. You do not have to be sick during the winter time. Here are 26 tips as to why you can stay healthier during the winter. You don't have to be sick. Okay, V. Eat your vegetables, lots and lots of fresh vegetables. W, water, 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 water. I need some water. I didn't bring mine down yet. Um, drink plenty of water. Water, and in the winter time, we need to wash, wash, wash our hands. Not just a quickie like that. We need to wash our hand for 30 seconds to continue to keep our wellness routine strong. Um, remember, Wednesday is Wellness Wednesday. And so don't forget, you know, stop in. We're going to be talking about these often. I'm going to be putting this. I do have a YouTube channel called Healthy Living with Oily Blessings. YouTube. And so I will have, I have lots and lots of videos there. I have a lot of different kinds of videos. I have music videos. I have teaching videos. I have some of my videos that talk about different healthy living tips, um, including essential oils. Um, and, you know, I'd love to have you subscribe. Um, because then when I put a video in there, it will come right into your email. Okay. That's the best way to do it. Same thing with, um, the WordPress, hope for the hurting 2017.wordpress.com. That one, if you go right into my WordPress, um, which is W, it will, and you subscribe, it will come right to your, right to your email. It's so much nicer than trying to have, to, oh gosh, I forgot to look. Um, oh, it's one o'clock. I forgot to get there. Okay, um, yeah, I'd love to have you come in and join me, but so that was W. All right, so now we only have three left. E is, or this is why, this is kind of E, exercise, but it, because it sounds like exercise, exercise every day. Do something, do something. 
It doesn't matter what it is. Even if you get up and you walk across your room, if you can only walk 10 steps on the first day, then double it. Go 15 steps, go to 20 steps, and just keep upping the ante each day. Do a little bit. If you can't, if you're having trouble standing, pick up your leg, pick up your leg, okay? Um, and just do those kind of exercises. Maybe you can just hold a can of soup in your arm, you know, like this, pick up, use those cans of soup, go to the gym. I try to get to the gym at least three to four times a week. Um, love getting that exercise outside. Walking outside is probably one of the best exercises. Clears your mind, gives you that oxygen that our body is lacking in our homes. Um, and it makes you feel better. Just being outside will make you feel better. So if you're weary and drug out and, and just don't have any hope, take a walk. And don't take your phone. Leave your phone at home and listen. You might hear some birds, the wind. There's just so many things that you can, can hear and see outside. Okay, so exercise. Why is you? You are the most important person of all. And so if you don't take care of yourself, what's going to happen in your family? You have to take care of yourself. So go out and do something that you enjoy. Something you've never done before. Okay, that's why I started this. That's why I've started. So as my story continues with the YouTube and the videos, um, I just wanted to do this because it lifts my spirits. It gives me something uh, concrete, something to do and keep my mind occupied, keep my mind moving. That way I don't focus on all those negative things. Okay, the last one is zeal. What was your zeal when you were a kid? What were you zealous about when you were a kid? Return to that zeal. I bet you there's some things in there. I, as a kid, I loved being outside. I was outside as much as possible. When the street lights came on, we had to come in the house. That was my key in the summertime. But I was outside all the time. I loved art. You know, things haven't changed too much. I'm outside all the time. I love art. Although my art is a lot different, I, you know, with making cards and um, just creating. Now I'm a writer, and so I love writing. And so um, my zeal, I've gone back to writing, um, which is why I blog. Sometimes I wonder if anybody's out there hearing me, um, or if anybody is even seeing my Facebook posts. I'd sure like to know if you're listening or watching. So please, please send me some comments. I need to hear some input. Um, and that wraps it up for today. That's our final one, A to Z, Healthy Living Tips with Laurel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad you did. Tomorrow, we're going to try to do Thriving with Thieves. And I don't know, Friday, we might do one about fabulous foods. We've been talking about some foods. But if it's not on Facebook, check the WordPress because that's where I've been doing those. Healthy Living with Oily Blessings dot wordpress.com so have a great day if you need any information about any of these wellness tips i love to teach classes i can do an online class i can do an individual class in your home in my home um, I, I can do a mask if you prefer if that makes you most comfortable um, but tomorrow we'll talk more about thriving with thieves and I love my thieves because thieves is what I believe keeps our wellness stronger. Thieves, tomorrow, thriving with thieves. Okay, have a great, great God-filled day. And remember, there is, what is it? Always, always hope. Bye.